Hello my loves, happy Monday to everybody. Today is November 11th, so today is 11-11. It's a powerful portal today. When you see the numbers like 11-11 and 9-11, they are wake up call numbers. It's saying that there's something that you need to be more aware of so that you can shift into the vibration that more matches like your true, your true self or your authentic self. So today would be a great day to do a ritual. Also, tomorrow is the full moon and already, I started looking at it uh, last night, it's already huge and it's not even fully full. So I feel a very powerful energy coming in, a very powerful energy shift coming in. If you do do rituals or any manifestation work, today and tomorrow will be great days to do those. Today is also Veterans Day, so I'm going to be doing a uh, tarot sale for 24 hours for tarot readings in honor of Veterans Day. Um, my readings are going to be only $37, so go ahead and book your reading. You can email me. Uh, the information is in the description box below, but we're going to talk about this week and what our energy is looking at. If you have any other questions or you wanna check out my products, I have guided journals, I have oracle decks that I have designed. I also have a blog on my website, which is www.madebymetools.com. All the information that you need to know is listed there, okay? And so, we're gonna get started. Today we're using the Akashic Tarot, which is this beautiful deck right here. We're going to see what message spirit has for us for this week. I did shuffle the deck a little bit before uh, I began recording, but I'm just going to give it a nice little shuffle now, and then we'll get started. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, please show us. Please show us, Spirit, what this week is looking at, looking like the week of November 11th through November 17th. What's it looking like? What's it looking like? What's it looking like? Monday, Tuesday, don't plan. Oh, uh oh, it's looking kind of okay. We got some work to do. Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, okay, okay. I can move that a little bit. Friday, guys, this might be an intense week, but don't panic. That's why we're here. Don't, don't get nervous. Saturday, oh, yeah. And Sunday, we're gonna put right here. Now look, you know, oh first, holy shit, the one, two, three, four, five, five out of the seven cards are major arcana cards. And the other two are scrolls, holy shit. Okay, so remember I was talking about those major energy shifts? Well, here they are being confirmed right here in this card, on the cards, oh goodness. This is, okay, so this is what I'm, okay. This is not bad. It's just saying that if this message resonates with you, okay, because you got to take what resonates. I don't say the caveat every time I do my uh, reading, but I guess I should, you know, take what, if you listen to other tarot readers, I always say, take what resonates with you and let everything else fall. But that is how you should do it. Take, you know, just because I say something, if it's not in relation to your life, don't try to fit your life into the situation that I'm speaking about and then begin to panic, right? But this is saying that there's major changes that need to be made okay the full moon the moon itself stands for illusion right it means that we're living under some kind of an illusion and this is a great time for us to remove that illusion to see what it is is it our own self-limiting beliefs is our, our self-limiting doubts do you think that life is one way the universe is one way marriage is one way relationships is one way parenthood is one way because if there's any kind of illusion you're under this moon and this portal that we're going into is going to definitely illuminate or shine. Look at that. See that light right there? Shine some light on the situation, okay? Because this, if I looked, if I, am I looking at the reading in total, it's speaking about karma. It's speaking about releasing a lot of patterns that have followed you from your past life into now that are no longer serving you. It's also speaking to releasing any karmic relationships that are no longer serving you. Because once you've learned the lesson, you can move on. Some people learn the lesson and they still want to like 
wallow in what happened and and I was so hurt and it's good to acknowledge your feelings it's good to evaluate your experience but at a certain point like especially if you've been through something traumatic especially let me turn this so the, the light is not in my face especially if you've been through something traumatic or a heartbreak or grief or loss it's easy to get stuck in that trench okay and Monday's card is called the karmic trench it's the four of swords right and this is literally speaking about how you keep digging yourself deeper and deeper into the issue, into the problem, okay? It's kind of like when you're stuck in quicksand or tar, and the more that you, like, try to fight it, the more that you get stuck, like, you're the one making yourself stuck. Your actions are responsible for making you stuck. That's what I'm seeing here. So the four is also a number of foundation, this is, again, something that you were raised believing. This is something that, in your core, this is how you operate. This is, this is something that needs to be changed within your own belief system, okay? And so it's saying it's time for you to stop digging yourself deeper and deeper into karma. If there are any situations, because I have been getting a little energies of conflict lately, it could be family conflict because, you know, family is family. A lot of times there are there is some kind of an issue present. But more than anything, I do get, like, conflict at work uh, between coworkers. If there's any, like, disruptions in management, if there's any kind of hostile takeovers being, being um, present at your workplace, this is saying, like, don't get involved. You know, if there's any kind of workplace drama, don't get involved because the more that you get involved, the worse it's going to be for you. As this is a scrolls card, we're talking about communication. So especially those people who work in the industries of communications, of advertising, of public relations, of writing, journalism, and real estate. If you're experiencing issues at your job, kind of distance yourself or or handle it in a very diplomatic way like don't be involved too 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 much okay so that's the energy of today you want to make sure you don't get caught up into shit um also do some journaling today and think about where it is that you can um be nicer to yourself can you think more positively okay because a lot of you are your own worst critics and the more you tell yourself, I'm never going to find a man, or I'm never going to find a woman, or I'm never going to be financially free to the point where I'm not living paycheck to paycheck. You know, this is just how it is. And I'm just going to just live here in this place of despair. You got to get yourself out of that place of despair. You have to, just like you dug yourself in that hole, you have to like dig yourself out of that hole, okay? So this is definitely speaking to negativity in the way that we think. When it comes to Tuesday, this card is called Caught in the Ruins. It's the major, it's a major arcana card, 16. The 16 in the tarot would be uh, the tower card. So this is speaking to things like falling away, like things uh, breaking down so that new can come from it. If you look closely at this card, you see that there are two people sitting in this jail, right? But notice that the jail has no roof and the walls have already crumbled. These two people can leave this jail at any time that they desire, but they choose not to. They're just sitting there, miserable, okay? Why? I don't know. Is this you in a relationship? Uh, this is, can definitely speak to romantic relationships where two people are together because they're comfortable together, because they've been together for 10 years, and they don't even want to try to explore the dating uh, field or being single so rather than going out into the unknown because they have the fear of the unknown or or what if I never find something better or whatever the fear may be they sit here in misery with each other um, one plus six is a seven in numerology seven is the number of spiritual spirituality so this is a spiritual based relationship it could be you know a karmic relationship or a soulmate relationship where you're just sticking around both people look unhappy both people are left out in the cold and if you really look I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but right here there's two keys, right? It's saying that there's opportunities for you to get out of this. There's opportunities. There will be more opportunities. More doors will open once you leave the situation that you're in. This can very much also be uh, family relationships where you think that you're stuck with a person because they're your family, because they're your mom, because they're your dad, because they're your guardian, because they're your brother, sister, or because they're your best friend. 
and it could be like oh they looked out for me in the past so even though this relationship is kind of draining me I'm, I'm still gonna continue to stay here this is not healthy this is toxicity okay that's what we're dealing with this is all helping you to get rid of this toxicity if you've been feeling physically sick especially nauseous me and the kids we had a little stomach flu last week right but that is a physical manifestation of you needing to purge things in your life you needing to get rid of what's no longer serving you so if this situation resonates with you it may be time to leave behind a relationship because look, you're just stuck. And why remain stuck, okay? When it comes to Wednesday, we have another major arcana, the Akashic Library. Let me see, can you see it? Doo, doo, doo. This is a number two card, so it's very much high priestess vibes. It's connecting with your higher self so that you can receive knowledge about which way to move, okay? A, a major theme of this card is education, is knowledge, is wisdom. For all of you uh, who are watching this, if you've ever thought about writing a book or publishing a book or becoming a publisher, this is your sign right here. This is the sign that you need to go ahead and go after that. You may need research. Just because, you know, you may have a desire to do something and you don't know how to do it. It doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. It means you should learn how to do it so you can do it better. So you may need to take a writer's workshop. You may need to take um, a class of some sort on grammar, on... Um, how to align your book or how to format, not align, but how to format your book if you're not familiar. Go ahead, take the steps that it takes to get what you, you know, nothing, you know, happens overnight. So you may have to take a few steps before you get to your end game, but definitely do that. To so all of my students, this is speaking to a time where you may be getting ready for like, I don't think it's final exam time, but maybe a major exam, maybe a praxis or a, uh, even if you're like studying to be a nurse or something like that, there may be some kind of boards or certification classes or something that you're taking training and you're going to have to be doing a lot of studying. Withdraw yourself from the world. The world can wait. The world's not going back. I mean, going anywhere. It'll be right there when you come back. But there's a need for you to kind of withdraw. On a spiritual level, as far as like psych uh, psychic abilities and just self-discovery, it's saying that you can find knowledge in the Akashic Library, which is the library of all that ever was, all that is, and all that will ever be. This is, if you look at the library, you can think of people's lives as these books on the shelves. Everybody has a life book. So you can tap into or you can get a reading. I do past life readings. I do Akashic readings. So hit me up if that is something that you're interested in. You can see your past lives because I can't even begin to tell you how much your past life affects your present life. The sun is just like following me as I keep moving over. I hope y'all see me all right, right? At least y'all can hear me, right? Um... Your past life affects your present life more than you actually know. You know, I've had past lives of being imprisoned and it affects, you know, how I move, how I trust people. I've had past lives of being poisoned, which affects how I eat and my diet and things like this. I've had past lives of having my children taken away. So it affects my motherhood, you know, me, my mothering abilities and how protective I am over my kids. And it helps me also to release the things that I'm not... You, that don't affect me anymore because those things are not going to happen so I can release it and release fears related to it. This is also saying that your book is your book, right? Life comes does not come with an instruction manual. I just made a post about this on Instagram yesterday. You have to write your own instruction manual. You have to live life by your own rules and write a book based on that. And that's what he's doing in this card. So it's saying live life the way that you want to, okay? If you write a chapter and you decide you're not gonna go down that chapter, just move to the next one, okay? Whatever it is, there are no rules, there are no limitations. Do you boo-boo, okay? Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, we got art. Archangel Michael, and he's one of my favorite guides to work with, uh, coming in here. If you are, like I just mentioned, if you're someone who has any um, worries or concerns about your kids right now, you can call on Archangel Michael for protection so you can feel his very protective spirit come into your place uh, or wherever it is that you are. You can also, if your kids are going through anything as far as, you know, sickness or maybe behavioral issues or mental health issues or anything with school, you know, be, um, 
that's behavior, you know, acting up or anything like this, you can call upon Archangel Michael and he will give you guidance through writing. You may need to do automatic writing. You may need to do journaling. And he's going to show you how to, um, he may direct you to a therapist, art therapy or sensory therapy or CBT therapy. There could be something, uh, that they need to change in their diet or their environment and so this is a guy who can definitely help you i'm noticing the number nine it's saying uh that he can bring completion to anything that's kind of left up in the air that you need a little help with but archangel michael is not just for children he's for adults as well i often call on him when i have any kind of fears of like my personal protection you know or being by myself or anything like that i call upon him and i feel like this spirit of uh, comfort come around me so you see he's very powerful powerful the movie Legion have you seen Legion it's kind of scary movie it's not really it's not scary to me but it's kind of crazy movie whatever he's the main angel you know and he was there he was sent to protect old girl who was pregnant and have the baby with all the zombies coming for her or whatever so he's powerful you know what I'm saying so you can receive his power if you call on him because you may need that you may feel vulnerable on Thursday and you're like what am I supposed to go on I feel raw I feel open I feel you know susceptible call on him okay we got Friday, and this is the lookout card. It's a warning card, okay? The person, let's see, I'm looking this way. The person is on top, this is called a bird's nest, on, in the bird's nest on top of a burning ship, okay? It's saying that you need to be on the lookout for something that needs to change, which we talked about this entire reading, okay? It doesn't mean just, oh, you know, when the situation presents itself and shows me that I need to correct this in my life. It means you need to be actively, what is not working? Like, you need to sit your ass down and, and take an account, take an audit of your life. What is not working? And you're supposed to look in the direction that he's looking to see what's not working. And I feel like he's looking at Archangel Michael and children. Um, but now what I'm getting, what I'm hearing is that this is something to do with inner child work. There's something that you learned as a child, whether it was a defense or coping mechanism, such as disassociation, you know, to get through hard times and you still disassociate now, you still feel numb, uh, you still feel like you don't belong. If you grew up in an abusive household or you abused as a child, you may still feel like everything is dangerous. And if that, and that's really what I'm hearing, like you feel like you're still that child and you have to realize that, you know, life is not the same and that takes time. So you may need to speak to a therapist. You may need to do your own like uh, workbook work or, or self healing work. This light is driving me crazy. Let me see something. Hold on. No, this is worse. This is okay. This is all right. I guess. It's driving me crazy. I should just let it go, right? Anyways, inner child work, okay? You need to be, because what I'm feeling is like, if you don't heal this inner child stuff that you have going on, it's going to ruin a certain situation. If you were abused by your dad and now you have trust issues with men, you very well may potentially push away a good man because you're afraid of men in general. And so you don't want to lose something good because of something that's unhealed. So a lot of you, your defense mechanism is to pretend it never happened, you know, especially if you grew up in, and I'm not talk, speaking that any other uh, nationality or race didn't, but if you grew up in a black household where they teach you to sweep everything underneath the rug, or we don't talk about that, we don't talk about the abuse, we know this uncle is a pedophile, but we keep that on the hush-hush or anything along that nature, it's like you got to bring that up, you got to feel it, okay? Don't be afraid to heal it. Some of you are afraid to talk about it because your parents are still not approving, your parents are still kind of like, shh, we don't talk about that, like that happened, let it go. And it's like, no, we need to fucking talk about my pain. We need to process this because it's ruining my life, because it's ruining my um, relationship. We're not gonna sweep this under the rug because the only person that's hurting is me. So you gotta heal this, all right? 
And then when you get to Saturday, this whole week, and that's what I'm talking about, all of these cards, one, two, three, four, and five, are major arcana, and they're all very much speaking to a very similar theme. Saturday, the light of the world, you see the sage, he's outside of the door, he has that lantern of illumination, because he's like, I'm here to fucking shine light on what it is you're pretending not to see. And you see him, he's like, oh, I don't see anything, I don't, I'm distracted. I can't hear that door. I have things to be doing, right? But it's also, if you see, notice the flames in here, like your flame fire is the element of destruction. I feel like you're going to internally implode or have a mental breakdown or an emotional breakdown or just go crazy if you don't allow yourself to become aware of what it is that you need to heal. This new moon, I mean full moon, and also your spirit guides right now, they're trying to show you what it is. But you gotta sit down, you know what I'm saying? Like this guy, you gotta journal, you gotta write about it. They're trying to show you, hey, this is what needs work. And this is a sage, so he brings wisdom. He brings knowledge. Um, this is what needs work and you're being distracted. So some of you are purposely distracting yourself. You're distracting yourself with work. You're becoming workaholics. I, I tend to do that sometimes, right? Most of the time I face my shit head on because I want to like get it done and get it over with, right? I'm a, I'm a like, let's just, get, let's just do the shit so it can be done with, right? But sometimes I'll throw myself in my work. Some people are throwing themselves into shopping or gambling or sex. And you're like, I'm just going to keep going. If I keep moving, I don't have time, you know, to deal with the pain. Because every time I slow down and every time I sit down in a room by myself and it gets silent, this pain overtakes me. So I like to party all the time. I like to drink all the time. I like to smoke all the time. You got to stop that, okay? You got to let yourself feel it so you can heal it, okay? This is the wisdom that's coming into you today. And you're, you're gonna feel it throughout the entire week, but on Friday it's saying like, if you don't get it together like by Friday, it's gonna be like a big something that comes up and tells you, like calls you on your shit, all right? And then on, by Saturday, right? And then on Sunday, we round out the week with the King of Scrolls. So what I get here is we started off the week with the four of scrolls and you were digging yourself into this trench and then you finally decided to put down the shovel and you're more in this energy and the king of scrolls. It's saying now you have a new outlook. See how he's looking toward the future? See how he has his journal in his hand and behind him in several pages where he's been writing down his plans and writing down what it is that he needs to do. And he was like, you know, he's, he's like, I have a new outlook. Before I had my head down, oh, y'all, hold on a second. Hold on, y'all. Okay. He's like, before I had my head down, and I, I didn't see a brighter way. I didn't see a way out of this. I didn't see that there could be a better day. I didn't see the sun slowly rising behind me. But now I have lifted my head. Now I've gone through this process and I'm nowhere near there, but I'm gonna take the initial steps because I know that if I do nothing, nothing will happen, you know? And so this is journaling, this is writing about it. Some of you may be actually be writing letters to your abuser or writing letters to your family about like how you feel because you express yourself better in written word than you do, uh, than you verbalize it. I'm also noticing this rose bush, this rose vine growing up here. It's saying like new life coming for you once you decide to turn your life around. Once you let go of the karma, once you heal the karma, there's a new direction you'll go into, especially with love, okay? I also see lavender here. Peace of mind. Some of you are dealing with depression and anxiety and and all kinds of like grief and things of this nature. I see lavender here, which speaks to a calming and a relaxation, but it comes through doing the work. It's also possible you will get a therapist. This man could be a therapist who can help you out in this regard, you know, help you to point you in the right direction. Or you may read a book, because again, the library here, this may be a sp specific writer. I've been listening to a lot of, he's not a writer, he's a philosopher, Alan Watts lately, and he's been helping me to like get my mind right. So you may pick a specific teacher or philosopher or sage, and you may be listening to his works, either this is TED Talks or podcasts, and it helps you to get your mind right, and it helps you to be like, you know what, I can fucking fuck 
can do this. I can do this. And so this is good energy coming in for the week. Take your time with yourself because this is stuff that you've had since past lives. It's not going to change in two days. This is also a lot of generational healing. You know, if you've had, everyone has had, you know, generations of being suppressed or there's some kind of a genocide or there's some kind of a living in fear or something that still resides within your DNA. And you need to heal yourself on a cellular level. And that's what it means by going inside, like taking a deeper look at your life right now. So this is going to be a very healing week. I'm sure by the end of it, we're going to feel, you're going to feel part. You know how like you, you get drunk and you throw up and you're like, okay, I feel empty, but I know like now I'm better. Now I just got to focus on like getting better. Like I know you're going to feel a little drained. But you're draining out the good stuff by the end of the week. And then by next week, I'm sure we're going to pray that we're going to be in a week of replenishing everything that we just let out, okay? So this is part of the healing process. You can't run from this process, okay? You cannot run from this process. You got to feel the pain to get through it, okay? But once you get through it, you don't have to deal with it anymore. So I wish you guys the very best in trying to heal this. If you have personal... Uh, things that you're dealing with, personal issues that you're dealing with. Today, again, the sale, only $37 for 24 hours. Come and see, get a past life reading to see where it is that this fear and this uncertainty and this and karmic tie is holding you from, okay? So I thank you guys so much for listening to, I look like Two-Faced, which is funny because today I started my hair and I wanted to look like Harley Quinn because I had it out in like big puffs, but then I pinned it back, you know, give myself a little... But now I look like Two-Face. We got this whole Batman theme. Maybe that means something. Not Batman and Nocturnal and Bats and Nighttime and Shining Light. Maybe, maybe. The whole point is thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Thank you for listening. And I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Peace. Love you guys. Goodbye.